Okay. Okay. Uh. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Polaroid Sarcasm. As you see, I'm rocking my new setup, my new shirt. This is probably going to be my first official video where I actually cover a topic that's not a Q&A and not freaking top anime openings of the season because this doesn't involve anime. It involves something kind of personal to me. So I just wanted to like vent out and get it off my chest. And this is about a dating app called OkCupid and it is going to be 18 plus discussion. So just be forewarned. I made to cover some adult stuff, and so I got OkCupid a while back as a joke. You know, I created one for Finding Nemo's dad. <laughs> so, if you don't know, this app is called OkCupid, and I decided to test it out. But, you know, I'm gonna impersonate Nemo's dad, you know? <laughs> I gotta find my son Nemo! <laughs> then I created another one to be like, eh, hey, fuck it. Who knows, you know what I mean? One chick I swiped right on, or I guess, yeah, that that way. She's kind of cute. I'm not gonna get with her because I don't look as good as her. But later on, I guess, let's say, from the recording of this video, not even five days ago, uh, she messaged me saying, hey, and I just replied like, oh, okay, I got a reply, you know? Later on, we start talking and then she's like, oh yeah, I don't communicate well on this app because I don't get notifications, she doesn't either, so I added her on Snapchat. That's when uh, the first red flag I should have seen popped up because as soon as I added her on Snapchat, she's she asked me, um, when are you free to meet up? I'm new to the online dating app thing because I never knew I was, gonna, I was gonna take it seriously and I still don't. This is why I still don't. This was the first red flag for me because I don't even know who she is yet. I just know her by name and face. Granted, uh, I should have paid attention because I had so many red flags. The first one was that she asked where I lived and she really wanted to meet up. And, you know, I didn't say no, but I did give her like, hey, I'm not ready yet. And she said, okay. So, you know what? I'm like, bet. The first day we started talking, she said to call her because she was interested in how I, how I sound like. And for me, that's moving a little too fast, but... We called via Snapchat and it was okay, it's just, she was very straightforward, which I'm not used to. She just goes up in your face and says, hey, what are you looking for? When honestly, I wasn't looking for anything. If anything, like, if I meet someone who likes anime and fucking like talking about this shit, I'm like, what the fuck, I'm, I'm wearing a hentai shirt, okay? If you don't like anime or don't like anything with anime, please do not talk to me. Well, I mean, that's kind of rude, but you get my drift. With my, I guess, ideal girl, she has to accept my, for lack of better words, my weebness, okay? As of this recording of this video, it happened today. Moving on, but still, uh, just fucking two days. Let's fast forward, she, I actually gave her my address because, you know, I think it was okay. I mean, I was stupid, it's partially my fault too. She came over and that's when I had another red flag. She steps out of the vehicle and she looks nothing like her pictures on that dating app. And I guess her angles that she chose made her look slimmer, but her face literally and physically, it, it didn't it didn't match up. Like, what the fuck? How about fuck you? <sighs> um, so right off the get-go when I met her in real life, I was already I was already physically not attracted to her. I felt like I was catfished. The first thing she I say when I got out of the truck, I said, what the truck is this? Because I told her I make puns, that's just me. I make puns, I make lame jokes, I make people groan. I'm fucking anime trash. And she already groaned, sighed at me, and said, don't talk to me. Maybe that's her sarcasm, but you don't, I can't tell sarcasm if I don't know you, you know what I mean? Ugh. Legit, she said, hey, I just wanna sleep. And my dumb ass thought, okay, yeah, I just sleep. Seeing, I guess, not to be offensive how big she was, because she said she wasn't as big. It kind of threw me off. So when we got inside, I was playing some music because I said I don't like silence. So we sit down and I start, I start like a conversation as best as I could. I don't know who this person is. So I say, hey, my name's Darren, yada yada. And she says, oh yeah, I fucking already knew that. Can we go to sleep now? And I'm literally like putting my hands together like this, looking around. And mind you, I just had a white t-shirt and like my sweats on. 
Fuck, man. It was just really difficult. I just said, fuck it. We're gonna go to bed. She kind of gauged my room a little bit because it was really clean. Then she's like, oh, this is what you're talking about. Because, um, not shown on the screen, something over there on the other wall, I have two anime pictures framed. Then she looked at this wall and she kind of gave me the look of, what the fuck? She gave me that face straight on and said, okay then. And she looked at my anime lanyards, like, oh, what's this? I'm like, oh, it's for anime conventions I go to. She's like, I don't see the point in that. So again, those are another red flags because now I feel um, insecure about what I like. Right now, I feel like I just can't be myself, like honestly. So we go to bed and sh she wants me to spoon her and I just, I just do, and I just wanna go to bed. Then she turns around and then she kisses me. And mind you, I never wanted to kiss her. I never wanted to do anything with her, but she kept persisting and for stuff happened, okay? And I didn't like it at the very end. And you could probably tell what I mean by that. I felt remorse and regret. Even before then, she told me that she had six other guys. And if that didn't say anything, then I don't know what is. And seeing how fast she did it, it was maybe 30 minutes and, she, and we already did it. I wish it never happened, but if it didn't happen, it would have made me realize because at this moment, um, the girl I referred to at the anime convention, she accepted this. She accepted my hentai shirt, she accepted my anime prints, my account that I have on Instagram, she accepts my humor. We have a communication and you know what, like, it just hit me. Like if you're, I don't know. And mind you, like, no one's gonna be a perfect 10 out of 10, no matter how you put them. It's just, now that's already said and done, I'm currently ghosting and I wish I already haven't because I never did that before. But that is my experience with OK Cupid. She dropped me off of work. I got off of work and I have not responded to her. Way too aggressive and I feel like she's been around. But then yet again, without her, I wouldn't have realized um, I had this perfect partner that if I just cast aside some like things that kind of like are very minor, like if someone legit cares about you, likes your anime shit, assuming you like anime, hentai shit as well, likes your fucking weird ass self, keep her. Not saying you should date her, but always keep them close. But uh, other than that, this has just been a really long vent, if anything. Uh, but yeah, um, disregarding this whole vent thing, I will be using this setup a little bit more often. I will be discussing anime shit when I have time, anything of the sort, maybe some parody, no, not parody videos, no. Hopefully you liked the video as much as I disliked my experience. But yeah, uh, watch this video, have a great day depending on where you are. And yeah, uh, that.